I started out in a fire academy oh, 10 years ago and then uh, trying to get a little more experience got hired on with a type 2 IA crew up in Tahoe. After that started applying for fed jobs, landed a job here. Characteristics to make a successful hotshot I think would be just the standard give 110% at all times, uh, be accountable for your actions. Just be fully committed on learning, uh, embracing the culture, and um, working hard, because that's, that's basically what we do. Inform yourself about what's happening. Inform yourself about the possibilities. The more that you're into the fire season, what's happening, the fuel situations and all that, the better firefighter you are. What did it do to them early on in this fire? What was the situation when these guys all started looking up? The first week, I consider it being geared towards that fire season or the upcoming fire season. So we do fire line refresher, deployment drills, medical training, uh, field day, and it's all geared towards getting us ready for that current fire season. Uh, characteristics to make a successful hotshot, I'd say uh, a big portion of it is physical fitness. Even if you work seasonally, if you want to be a successful hotshot, it's a year round commitment to physical fitness. Second quality that I like to see is uh, above average work ethic and drive. And then third, and probably actually the most important, would be mental resilience. Um, this job is, is tough mentally in a lot of ways. Uh, you got to push through a lot of physical discomfort. You're away from your friends, your family. Um, and you, you miss out on a lot in the summertime, and that can be, be detrimental if you don't come into it with the right mental attitude and have the mental resilience to, to push through some, some hard times. Physical fitness is super important to this job. We want to push our mental toughness so we know what we're capable of out on the fire line and just be able to hold your own. Physical fitness is the most important thing in this job, but also it kind of it shows you what you're capable of doing um, the more fit you are, you know? I look at it from a, a safety standpoint. Um, you know, you, you need to be able to move up and down the mountain packing a saw, a dome or whatever it may be, um, you need to be physically fit, you need to have that, like I said, that, that cardiovascular kind of baseline. Critical 80 is where we, that's where the crew cohesion starts. You hear that the term rapid team building thrown around quite a bit. Uh, and from my perspective, it's more um, rapid foundation building. We're, we're building the foundation during critical training uh, to build the team throughout the summer. And then, you know, the more time and that we're together and work together throughout the season, the, the crew cohesion just gets tighter and tighter. I wanted to be on a hotshot crew. I was actively involved in sports when I was young um, through high school in the collegiate level. And um, the type two crew stuff and hotshot crew stuff, I just really enjoyed the team atmosphere and uh, working as one, you know, for the greater cause. I would describe uh, our hotshot crew as hardworking, um, dedicated to the job, uh, professional.